couldn't get her fingers together. The next day she texted me and her fingers were together. And the next day she made a fist. And that's when I went, oh my, I got to figure out what this is. Welcome to the My Future Business Show, where we get you in front of your best audience and keep you there. Not only are we interviewing the biggest names in business to help you become even more successful, we're inviting you to book your spot on the show to help you grow your business. So at the end of the call, make sure you fill in the interview application form at myfuturebusiness.com forward slash interviews. Hi, and welcome back to the My Future Business Show. It's Rick Nusky here. I'm your host and a quick second of pause, as I always like to do, to thank you so very much for all of your support. Loving reading the feedback. Keep it coming. Thank you very much. Now, on today's call, I have the pleasure of welcoming to the show author and founder of CNC Wellness, Dr. Teresa Cody. Welcome to the show. Hi. Yeah. Glad to be here. Yeah, it's wonderful to to have you here. We were just talking momentarily off uh, off camera about, uh, I guess, where you're located and everything that's going on in your world. And I think that's a really good place to start. So, uh, where are you uh, located? Uh, I live right outside of Houston, Texas. Fantastic. In a, 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 the first city in Texas called Richmond. Right. Richmond, Texas. So, yeah. have you have you lived there all of your life? Uh, no, no, no. I grew up in Brussels, Belgium. Oh, wow. With, yeah, my dad worked for Exxon Chemicals, so we lived over there for a very long time, for 10 years. Most Americans live there two to four years, but we live there 10. So it was a little shocking to come back to the United States at uh, 13, but I managed to. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'd love to learn a little bit about your, uh, I guess, growing up and how it's helped form to uh, you to be the, become the person that you are today. I, I wonder if it is it okay to call you Teresa or? Um, oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, okay, no worries, absolutely. Teresa. I always like to ask, <laughs> formal but informal. Now, in terms of uh, uh, entertainment time, do you get much time away from CNC Wellness? And what do you do if you do? Oh yeah, no, no, I run. Um, I run also a dental office. I'm a dentist and my husband is a dentist and we have CNC Dental. Uh And I just opened CNC Wellness two years ago. And the first year was going great. And then what happened? Oh my gosh. Yeah. (laughs) We got hit by COVID. But um, so our dental office has been, we, um opened the dental office in 1992 so fantastic thank you very much for sharing now i'd love to if you could please if you could tell us a little bit about what it was like growing up okay well i grew up in um we moved to brussels when i was three so i don't really remember new jersey Mm -hmm. probably okay (laughs) Um, so um i grew up in a um we went to a private school Mm -hmm. and it was a catholic school and it was called an english speaking school Mm -hmm. it wasn't american it was english speaking and um what i really take away from there is um we went on trips i don't know the nuns thought it was very important that we learn everything about italian religious life so we went to italy we started going to italy in fourth grade so at easter for two weeks our um your entire class went to italy (laughs) (laughs) imagine that it was great (laughs) and i just thought everybody did that in elementary school well no that's not true (laughs) Oh, that's that sounds wonderful. I mean, uh, talk about living life's experience. So in those formative years, Teresa, I'm wondering, um, you would have had a lot of influential people that I guess helped shape you to become the person you are today. And I always like to talk about that a little bit. Was there somebody in your life that helped form who you are today? You know, I had really good teachers. And um, I think because the uh, the companies like Exxon paid for your tuition. So you really had, you were paying college prices at the time. Like I didn't have any idea. So you got the best teachers. 
So I remember one teacher, Mr. McCarthy, he was mm-hmm. Irish. And um, he, my sixth grade math teacher, and I, I got to tell you, he scared the boys. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> 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 you have to have you know, one. but at that point you could pound their chest. You could do a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> now, if we can fast forward to today, Teresa, I'm wondering: do you uh, do you like hobbies? Do you like entertainment? What's your thing? What do you do to relax? I I like too many things. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Me too. I um I paint, mm-hmm. and I paint acrylic painting. Which, and I, it's kind of silly, but people like them, but it's very silly. And um, I like um, quilting, but it's not um, quilting like you think. It's not piecing together pieces. It's, it's called whole cloth quilting. Right. And you move the entire cloth and you do the quilt. So, um, and I have chickens. Very nice. <laughs> I have 12 chickens, and I have a garden, and so uh, I love, love, love swimming in the summer, because this is Houston, Texas, so (laughs) it's very hot. Oh, yes, absolutely. I wonder, where do you get your inspiration for your artwork, and what type of artwork is it? Is it abstract? What is it? No, it's not abstract. It's kind of... um, Silly, like an ostrich or a giraffe oh, or a it. pig, uh-huh. or yeah. <laughs> so, did you did you always have pets? Uh, do you, do you remember a fond pet when you were growing up? Oh no, yeah, we always had pets. We yeah. had a, a very mean cat, <laughs> which um, that left me with not liking cats. So that's. It's not fair that I don't like cats because of one mean cat. But we had a, then we got a really great dog. And my sister and I, the other day, we figured out the dog was a Maltipoo. Oh, okay. Not, it wasn't Maltese, it was a Maltipoo. So, of course, she was very smart. <laughs> and, um, and so she was our favorite pet. But, okay. yeah. Yeah, I've got a very um, special place in my heart for uh, pets, as I do authors. And in fact, we're going to be talking about your authorship in relation to the miracle of platelet-rich plasma. But before we jump into that part of the call, Teresa, I'd love to uh, learn about um, CNC dentistry and whether or not um, where the genesis for CNC wellness came about in all of this. You must be so busy. (laughs) Well, um, uh, CNC Dental is a full uh a full functioning office it does every part of dentistry and i bring in um, an oral surgeon to take out third molars Mm -hmm. and we have other specialists come in that do um specialties but I was trying to retire. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. And, um, and so I, in 2010, we bought land and we built an office and I built uh, about 4,000 extra square feet of office. Mm-hmm. And 2,000 of it was um, leased to a woman and then she decided not to re-up her lease. And then I was looking at the space going, oh, okay. And I tried mm, for a year to lease it. And then I realized, okay, maybe I can use it. Yeah. And th- uh, I met, I was at my hairdressers. And she had had a steroid shot in her hand. And she was saying how she's going to get another one. And I said, Tara, you can only get three in any one area for life. And she said, really? And I said, no, come into the office and try platelet-rich plasma. And she said, 
okay. <laughs> we've been friends for 20 years. She trusts you. And so um, we use platelet-rich plasma in the dental office all the time for yeah. 30 years Yeah. for a bone graft. But I didn't know really what it did anywhere else. And so um, she came into the office and we injected her hand. And she said, um, how long before you think I'm going to see anything? And I said, I don't know, six <laughs> weeks? <Yeah. laughs> well, the next day, she, could, she couldn't make a fist, I'm going to show you, yep. any more than this. She couldn't get her fingers together. The next day, she texted me and her fingers were together. And the next day, she made a fist. Oh, wow. And that's when I went, oh, my. I got to figure out what this is. Yeah, that's wonderful. And that wonderful. was my introduction to uh, platelet-rich plasma that pretty much heals everything. <laughs> yeah, that's incredible. Um, you know, it's funny how allied industry is not even an allied industry where you can get these new innovations that come through. Tell us a little bit more about um, what that actually is, because I have no idea. Okay, so what we do is we take, um, you know, a couple of tubes of blood mm -hmm. at, from you and we put it in a centrifuge and we, we spin it and the red blood cells fall to the bottom of the tube and the platelets and the plasma sit on top. So then we pipette off, we take off the um, plasma and we re-inject it into an area that is injured. Wow. And um, then we would just watch the healing begin. That, that, that's just incredible that something seems relatively simple, but you know, you could look past this, couldn't you? I mean, if you don't know about it, you just simply would know, wouldn't know about it, like you were mentioning. Well, that's why I wrote the book. I wrote the book because I think that people deserve to know that they have the ability to heal themselves within themselves. Is that, and can I just understand. jump in? Can, can I ask yeah. you then, is that why we, when we cut ourselves, is that, is that what's healing us, is our own plasma? That's it. Oh. So you skin your knee and yep. you're a kid and you don't go home because why would you go home? You have your uh. friends. Yep. You skin your knee, so the plasma comes and forms the the stops the bleeding, forms the clot. Yep. Now makes all the skin, makes all the new blood vessels you need, any nerves you need, anything you need, it makes it. And it's also, of course, antimicrobial, antiviral, and antifungal. So those those antibacterial creams that people have yes not necessary oh it's already in there all you need to do is clean it off and brush off the dirt <laughs> <laughs> bit of water there a bit go. of water you're good to go yeah wow that's and, fascinating um, mm -hmm. okay, continue i mean it even kills MRSA which is that that resistant a uh, Staphylococcus. Yeah, Staphylococcus. Yeah. Um, it even kills that, that's which incredible. is like, oh, that's incredible. Now, you must have done a lot of ground research once you got that aha moment. I'm wondering, um, where was the genesis for the book and how long did it take you to get, um, I guess, uh, across this, this topic properly? Um. Okay, I don't know. It's my favorite thing is biochemistry. So <laughs> I don't want to be that nerd, but I am that I'll nerd. be that nerd. I'm Love it. <laughs> <laughs> so I can read a lot of studies and appreciate them. Yeah. Um, it, it, you know, and then COVID hit. So for sure I had time. <laughs> and um, uh, I just, decided to write a book because I thought people should know. That's really what I wanted. And I have read everything I could read on platelet-rich plasma. So 
the latest thing I've figured out from platelet rich plasma, which is awesome, is there is an entire serotonin system in the plasma. And serotonin is, of course, that hormone we all know that's the feel good hormone. Yes, yep. Right. It's in the plasma. It makes at least 15 serotonin receptors. That's amazing. Oh, so that's why the patients who come in have injections. They might feel a, a little more inflammation and pain, and then all of a sudden they don't hurt at all. I think it's the serotonin. That's what we need. We need a, a pain-free life. You know, it's all about the quality of life, and that's what you bring into your clients, aren't you? That quality that's of life. It. You know, that story about being able to close your fist again. You know, that mobility is so important. We don't realize what we've got till we've got until it's gone. And uh, oh, absolutely. You know, I, I wonder. Um, you talk about a number of different things inside your book. I'm wondering if we can give um, the My Future Business audience a bit of an overview of what they might find in the book. Oh well, what I've done is kind of listed the story. Uh, I, I kind of wrote the story of how the entire business came about, but mm -hmm. um, it's also about the different things, the different injuries that we've treated and, um, and what we did to treat them like hair loss, mm -hmm. like uh, plantar fasciitis, so we go head to toe. <laughs> we, yeah, literally. We put PRP everywhere. <laughs> and, you know, um, like joint problems. And, you know, it, it truly is about the diagnosis. Yeah. If you ripped a ligament off of the bone, you are, you need surgery. Yeah. If you torn it, you need PRP. Ah. That's it. That's the difference. So do you work in, 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 I guess, in concert with GPs? How does, how does your relationship, how do you know that it's one or the other? Um, well, I have a nurse on staff and I have a MD on staff. Right. And um, no, nobody works with us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one of the problems is in the U.S., we live under an insurance, medical insurance system. System, yep. And they don't want to pay for PRP. Oh. Mm -mm. It's, it's and they used to, when they did orthopedic surgery, there was a lot of PRP that was done in the OR. And then all of a sudden, the insurance didn't want to pay for it. But I don't even take insurance. I make it relatively inexpensive mm -hmm. and um, really affordable for the patient to come in and just take care of their problem. Yeah, that's fantastic. You know, I have the, a dental office where I pay a lot of people to keep up with general insurance. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do that at CNC Wellness. Yeah, that makes that <laughs> makes a whole heap of sense. And, you know, you can... If you can bring that wellness to people who desperately need it, I'm sure that there's a, a large clientele that are seeking you out already. Um, I, I'm wondering, because we have a lot of aspiring authors. What was it like um, to write a book? Was it difficult or was it come naturally? Okay, so I thought I wrote a tome. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because <laughs> it felt like it. <laughs> About 100 pages with pictures. <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, yeah, no, writing a book was much more difficult than I thought it was going to be, and I just started out, and I read um, a quote from someone, I don't even know who to attribute it to, that said, I write 200 crappy words a day, and I went, I can probably do that. I can probably <laughs> write 200 crappy words a day. And all of a sudden, it was a book. You know, so, I just plowed through it. So there was like <laughs> lots of iteration. It's very important for the, the audience to, to hear, um, I guess, some of the frustrations that you went through because a lot of people tend to give up. Well, you have to, 
No, some days I wrote a thousand crappy words. So yeah. it was okay. <laughs> and some days it was uh, turned into 50 crappy words. But I just, um, I think what it is, is you can't criticize yourself the entire time. You must just allow yourself to do it and you will get through it. If you criticize every word, you just don't make any progress. Yeah, you just got to get it out, don't you? Put that idea onto onto paper, as it were. Uh, yes, and then, you know, maybe it's good, maybe it's not. It seems but, uh, it, it seems very relevant to me. It's just popped into my mind, Teresa, to ask you, given that you're in the wellness space and you're busy with an other operations and they're quite full-on operations with dentistry, what does a daily, uh, I guess, your routine look like? Do you, do you look after yourself? Is it important to you look after yourself? Walk us through your day. No, it is. And, you know, um, <laughs> it's funny. Um, about three months ago, I exercised a oh, whole lot more <laughs> I mean, um, but I am trying to balance it back out but I am I am much more in the dental office than I was yep. and doing a lot of more managerial stuff so um, you know it takes a lot of time and um, then the wellness is it's actually easier because I have a nurse and um, it's by appointment only. And so that one is, but I started um, networking again. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. We are <laughs> meeting in person. <laughs> Imagine that. It's fantastic. <laughs> I, I probably would have said to you last year, I hate networking. Oh, <laughs> now I'm looking forward to it. I never even thought. <laughs> That's awesome. There you go. You've tapped into a side of yourself you didn't know you had. I know because, you know, you didn't know how much social you needed until they took it all away. Yeah, well, considering that things are, are, are I guess, coming back to normal in a, I guess, a post-COVID world. Um, what have you seen that's changed? What innovations have you seen, I guess, in your industry coming forward? Um, in my industry, it's kind of hard to see a patient mm. without seeing a patient. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, we can't really Zoom a call and make it happen. So, yeah. you know, we really had, we really saw patients the entire time. Even though um, the Texas government closed us down for six weeks yeah. in the dental office, um, but we saw patients every day because they had emergencies. Yeah, of course. We had to. Yep. Right. So um, you know, post COVID, you still got to come in. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Got to come in the dental office. Absolutely. I uh, I, I look at uh, your website and I'd love to talk about these fantastic names that you've come up with and maybe talk people through briefly what some of these things mean. You've got vampire treatments. Tell us about that. Okay, well, <laughs> Dr. Runnels, he's in Alabama. He coined the phrase vampire facial. And um, it just means you're using your own blood. Right. So what we do is... Oh, there you go. That makes um, sense. I know. And every time he used it, he's, he's really cute. Every time he used it, he got more publicity. So then he went, oh, okay. I'm onto something here. <laughs> yeah. so, um, he, um, so we take a little blood and we spin in the centrifuge and we put it back into your face. And then your skin looks better. <laughs> Then it did. You got smaller pores, you get new skin, you get a glow, you get, I mean, I don't even want to tell you how old I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say 25. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Correct That's answer. It. I got a 27 year old, so that. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. I, I, I wonder, I, do you have um, like a split between uh, the genders? Do you have more male, more female? What's it look like? I have more female. Right. Because 
Um, but I have more males on hair. Mm-hmm. Um, so uh, platelet-rich plasma makes your hair grow. Mm-hmm. So that that's in- interesting. And then we have a lot of males who are hurt. Right. Like rotator cuff problems, Sports diabetic people. wounds. They don't do as many cosmetic um, procedures yep. as women. Mm-hmm. They should. Yeah. I mean, I Why went not? to my 40th high school reunion and went, okay, the women look a whole lot better than the than men. The men. <laughs> they need to do some work here. Are you seeing a shift, though? I'm seeing a shift. I know that a lot of my friends are looking after themselves. They like to, you know, do different treatments. Are you seeing, a, I guess, an uptick in male uptake for your services? Mm, Not really? I don't know. It's hard Not to tell. enough. Not enough. Need, more need to come because they need it. <laughs> There's an opportunity if anybody's on the call today and you're a male and you're wondering, mm, I need a bit of work, then definitely you need to reach out to uh, Teresa, you that's for sure. You need to do it. Yeah. That's... <laughs> now, when, um, importantly, um, people are going to want to find you and they're going to want to know in your local area, uh, I guess, the process. Where online do they find you? What are they going to find when they get there in terms of application? So it is um, C the letter C, Mm -hmm. A-N-D, and the letter C, because my husband's last name is Cashin, and I've always gone by Cody, so we're C&C Dental, and we're C&C Wellness.com. And um, the, the process on the wellness side is very easy. The number on there is my cell phone. Because yes. I have 20 employees over at CNC Dental. And if I can avoid it <laughs> for a little while, I don't have any employees on CNC Wellness except the nurse and the MD. You know. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so when they call that number, that's me. And I'll answer the phone and I'll talk to you. Um, and uh, that's how you get a hold of us. Yeah, fantastic. Now, when people want to buy uh, your book, um, is that something you would buy directly off your website or do they have to go somewhere else for that? It, they have to go to Amazon.com like everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's fantastic. There seems to be um, a bright future so ahead. My, yeah, my book is You Healing You. Yes. And if you put in You Healing You by Dr. Teresa Cody, then it comes up. Perfect. Excellent. Now, will there be an explanation of all the different procedures when somebody gets to your website, if, just in case they're kind of curious? Oh, yeah. We have a lot of information on there, but there's a lot of information in the book. I wrote the book to make sure everybody can see that, I mean, this therapy it has been available so I'm talking to my neighbor who has three horses. Mm-hmm. And I say, oh, I've opened this wellness center and we're doing platelet-rich plasma. And she goes, oh, I know all about it. And I said, really? Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's the first medicine that they offer horses. Oh, wow. When they get hurt. I would never have mm-hmm. known that. That's incredible. For the last 15 years. Why haven't they been offering it to us? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, good things take time. I think there's a bit of a, a, a slowness involved in all of this. But, um, uh, Teresa, I have to say, I've really, really enjoyed the call. I know that there'll be a lot of people listening in today who are looking uh, forward to getting in t- contact with you. And as is normally the case, I'll be making sure that the uh, URL cncwellness.com is available for people to oh, find okay. you. Yep. Thank As, you. And uh, again, when you go to the website, you will see Teresa's number there at the at top and centre. You can't miss it. And with all that being said, thank you so very much for joining me thank on the My you. Future Business Show today. Thank you. Thanks for joining us today. If you enjoyed the call, then make sure to subscribe, leave a comment, share us with your friends and book your spot on the show at myfuturebusiness.com forward slash interviews. And if you're looking for solutions that will help grow your business, then visit myfuturebusiness.com forward slash shop.